Hi guys, so I'm in my kitchen right now. Um, we have a kitchen this year at school, which is pretty cool, and you're going to be able to see the entire dorm room when I do my dorm room tour, which should be going up either in November or December. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do that yet, but right now, I'm going to be talking to you all about Coffee Crazy, and this is an organic French roast. So I'm a coffee fiend, like literally a obsessed with it and this is really cool because I'm typically used to going to Starbucks or other places to get coffee like pre-made or I use K-cups but as far as having like a whole bean coffee I've never really done that before so this one's really cool because it comes as a whole bean coffee and you have to grind it yourself and you have to do everything on your own um, so this says that it's a coffee uh, it's a coffee. Our coffee is a blend of organically grown Arabica specialty coffee beans and it is USDA organic. And my roommate is trying to be super quiet right now while eating grapes <laughs> in the background. But um, so it is whole beans, so that means that you have to grind them up yourself or you can go to A&P or possibly even Starbucks. I know that they grind beans. I'm not sure if they'll do an outside bean, but if you bring it in a bag and be like, hey, I didn't get it ground up. Can you do it for me? They might do it for you. So I have a grinder and I already poured in the beans and I ground them up myself. So I'm now going to show you what the finished product looks like and I am going to add in the milk choice as well. So stay tuned. I also thought that I would show you guys what the beans look like on the inside. So when you open up the packaging, do, do, do. I did kind of a crummy job of opening it because I didn't know how to open it well, but this is what the beans look like. Let's see if I can do this like strategically. You all see them? There we go. So that's what the beans look like. So they are full whole beans and they smell absolutely amazing and I wish that I could just rub them on my face and call it quits because they smell that good and taste that good. Um, that was kind of an odd visual to give you all. But that is what I am going to be making the coffee with and I hope that you all enjoy. All right, so I'm just gonna be using my Keurig and we are allowed to have one this year. Typically we're not allowed to, but because we have a kitchen, they can't exactly say you're not allowed to bring a coffee maker with you. So um, I'm gonna put it into my travel cup because when you're in college, travel cups are actually life because they're a lot easier to take with you than going and consistently getting new cups of coffee. So I have already ground it up and I put it into my little Breville K-cup thing. It's a Breville even though it's for a Keurig, but it does the same thing. Um, you need a different insert in order to use this, so if you guys are planning on using a Keurig, then just be wary of that. Uh, they are easily purchasable. I don't even know if that's a word, but if it is, I just made it one. Or if it isn't, I just made it one. Uh, you can go to Home Goods, Marshalls, or I think even Michaels sometimes has them, so just check those places. So what we do is we just close it, and then I'm gonna go with the middle setting, and now we watch the coffee brew. So the finished product is in here. I don't know how exactly to show it to you without spilling it everywhere, but you can see it's coffee, it's brown, because coffee is brown. Um, I'm gonna put some coconut milk into it because I, for one, do not like dairy milk. Eh, anymore. I've kind of switched over to almond and coconut milk. I don't know if it's LA that changed me or what, but I just like the way that it tastes so much better. So now, anytime I go to Starbucks, my drink is 60 cents more expensive because I get coconut milk. Because, yeah. Um, but this one is just from Trader Joe's. So it is soy free, dairy free, and it's unsweetened. Um, I just think that it tastes a lot better and it gives the coffee a bit more of a hint of good. <laughs> um, and I'm also not going to have any sugar with this because I've kind of been trying to get away from using sugar in my coffee as well. It's ready to sit. So that is everything and I will see you all in my next video. Have a blessed day. Bye bye.